This video is a continuation of part 2 of our review of the Coral Ocean View Hotel Playa del Americas in Tenerife. And in this episode we're looking at our room 610. This room is known as a junior suite, but a little bit more about that later. Let's start with the bathroom, which includes a sink on the left, followed by the WC, and then turning to the right, the wet area and the shower. Like the rest of the room, the bathroom was cleaned expertly every day, and our towels were replaced every day, as long as we left them on the floor in the morning for the maids to pick them up and replace them. A word to the wise folks if you leave them hanging up, like we did on the first couple of days, they don't get replaced. Leaving the bathroom and turning right, we enter our air-conditioned bedroom, which included two single beds, a small TV, a desk, and even a little kitchen area with fridge, microwave and two rings to cook on. We were all inclusive, so we'd no need for that. Despite being single beds pushed together, they were extremely comfortable. But in that age-old British saying, the advice that I can give you is remember to mind the gap. On holiday, Fiona and I never watched television, but we were told that there was a good range of British, Spanish and other European language channels. The TV was very small, it was wall-mounted, but you know, you are on holiday, and in our opinion, TV is something we just don't watch when on vacation. There wasn't a chest of drawers in the room, so storage space was limited. So we were limited to storing our clothes in the closet, where you would also find the safe and an iron, including ironing board. So big shocker for us, be aware, safes in Tenerife aren't free. All-inclusive certainly doesn't make all-inclusive here. Ten eyes in Tenerife and having access to this safe cost us 23 euros. So be aware that you will be expected to rent the safe. Exiting the room via the French doors and we find Fiona at the small table on the veranda. Fiona and I had booked and paid extra for a junior suite with pool view, which we clearly didn't get. I'll cover a little bit more about that in the wrap up shortly. On the veranda or balcony was a small table, two chairs and a wall mounted hanger to dry your clothes and pool towels. I will cover in the wrap up a little bit more about the pool towels. So is all-inclusive in Tenerife really all-inclusive? I think I will cover that in a future video. But as for now, I hope you've enjoyed these last two videos, a tour and then a room tour of the Coral Ocean View Hotel and Resort Playa del Americas in Tenerife. Don't forget to keep living the dream and tune into the next video when we will take you on a tour of the resort. As you can see, I'm back here in my office in Straven, and I hope the last two videos of the Coral Ocean View Hotel in Tenerife have been some interest to you. When Fiona and I booked this holiday, uh, literally only a week before we went, so early July, we had a look on YouTube and we found a few videos of the resort, uh, mainly in Norwegian or Spanish. So I hope these two videos, uh, first of all, showing you the hotel resort itself, and the second one, this one, uh, showing you the room, have been of some use. Before I talk about the positives of the Coral Ocean View, I do want to discuss the elephant in the room, and that was our room number 610. I did describe in this video that Fiona and I booked a junior suite with a pool view, and that is not what we got. In fact, we had paid £100 extra to have a pool view junior suite. When we checked in on the Monday evening uh, off our flight from Glasgow, the um, person checking us in said there was no such thing as a pool view junior suite. All the junior suites were the same. The Sun Prime is a Thomas Cook resort, and I've posted into this video um, the three 
uh, junior suite types that are in this hotel, the junior suite, the junior suite with sea view and the junior suite with pool view. When we then talked to Jet2 and it was a temporary rep we spoke to um, the next day in the resort, I have to say he was extremely unhelpful and tried to blame everyone else but Jet2. He first of all tried to blame the uh, hotel um, saying they were wrong. He then tried to blame the travel agent Barhead Travel saying they were wrong. I then pointed to their website and clearly showed them again that there were three room types and I posted them in from uh, the Jet2 website. First of all the junior suite, second of all the junior suite with sea view and third the junior suite with pool view clearly demonstrating that Jet2 are offering the three types of junior suite. Clearly somewhere something has broken down and we're still in dispute with Jet2. They promised to come back to me while we were on holiday um, to discuss what they were going to do. I was simply asking for my £100 to be credited back to my uh, card, which I think is more than reasonable since we paid extra to have this room and we didn't get it. So the jury's out, folks, on this particular case with Jet2. I am really disappointed um, that Jet2 have been less than proactive i think is the best way to describe the situation that we're in so be aware if this channel can do anything to advise you recommend and help you if you're thinking of choosing the car lotion view you won't be disappointed it's a fantastic hotel and i'll just talk a little bit more about that um, very soon but the elephant in the room for us has been the room itself the fact that we spent extra on a room that we didn't get. So the jury's out, we need to wait and see what Jet2 are planning to do. I have been looking at the Jet2 website to see where I can uh, now contact them. As usual, um, they don't really provide an easy way to get the customer complaints, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time next week um, producing uh, some sort of letter or correspondence to try and kick off the process but as you can see from our booking our booking clearly said that we were due to get a junior suite pool view which we didn't get yeah you could see the pool if you hung out over the balcony but that's not the point i know it's not a big deal the room was really fantastic it was a lovely room but it wasn't what we paid for so that is something I want to warn you guys about if you're considering booking the Carl Ocean View with either Thomas Cook or Jet2. As I said earlier in the video, I might actually do a vlog at some point in the future discussing the difference between all-inclusive in Europe versus all-inclusive in the Caribbean and Mexico. But as for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Fiona and I were very surprised that in the case here at the Carl Ocean View, all-inclusive didn't include a few things and I'd like to go through them one by one starting with the safe I did describe earlier that we had to rent the safe for those 10 nights it was 23 euros I have never in my life had to pay for a hotel safer to pay to access or rent a hotel safe and I thought that was very disappointing I believe it is pretty normal in Spain and Tenerife but nevertheless um, I have to say it seems to be like they're nickel and diming this one um, and it's something that Fiona and I were a little bit surprised about. The other thing were the pool towels. Again, every resort that we've been to so far over the last eight or nine years, all inclusive resorts, we have had pool towels every day. And that included in Cyprus, I think that was four years ago, um, pool towels were available to every guest every day they were fresh pool towels we had to pay um, two euros fifty per towel to get fresh towels uh, we did it a couple of times during the holiday uh, but be warned that pool towels in an all-inclusive aren't included and you do need uh, to rent them the next thing I want to talk about is the restaurants again when I talk about all-inclusive I would have expected to get access to all the restaurants not in the case in the Coral View and be warned you only get access to the Buffy restaurant which I'll talk about in a, a few minutes uh, there was an a la carte restaurant uh, that wasn't included in the all-inclusive um, you got a discounted um, menu Fiona and I never really tried it because eating out in Aldeki and Plain Americas was extremely cheap uh, and again I'll talk about that a little bit uh, later in this video. Right let's talk about the the buffet. Um, Fiona and I ate in the buffet um, for breakfast, for lunch, 
we didn't eat in the buffet for dinner. In fact, I should say we did one night, the Mexican night, which we wanted to try, um, and it was okay. It wasn't fantastic, but let's be clear. Um, the breakfast buffet is a breakfast buffet that you can get in pretty well any hotel around the world. There was plenty of options from cold meat for Europeans to a full English breakfast with baked beans if you wanted them. What I did um, think, Fiona and I did comment quite a few times, in fact most mornings, the food wasn't particularly warm which was um, a little bit worrying but nevertheless uh, I suppose that's buffets for you. We had, we had lunch um, in the hotel every day in the buffet as well and again it was okay. Um, lunches were a bit big and it's something Fiona and I don't eat. Uh, we don't eat big lunches because we do like to go out at night. Uh, it's part of our holiday. Um, every other day there were burgers which were great but you know what if I, I could ask the Carlos from to consider anything it would be lovely to be able to go in and make up your own sort of sandwich or panini or toasty that would be a really nice thing to be able to do for lunch something lighter than going in and having pasta with a rich sauce or lasagna uh, or fish etc etc the lunch was okay um, and yeah we we had breakfast and lunch every day we didn't eat dinner except for that Mexican night we did try it eating out a la carte going to a restaurant is very much part of Fiona's and my vacation and quite frankly eating in a buffet restaurant every night every night would have been a tad boring for us and we just didn't do it we went out every night uh, we went back to a couple of restaurants down in the front in Las Americas and in Ldeki we really enjoyed them eating out in Tenerife is very very cheap and I'm going to talk about that a little bit in the next video in part three of this 10 nights in Tenerife series. You are able to book the Carl Ocean View uh, room only, bed and breakfast, half board or all inclusive. As you know Fiona and I chose the all inclusive package. Uh, the question you might be asking is we think we get value for money. Well actually talking to other guests who were staying at the um, Carl Ocean View uh, who had booked bed and breakfast or even half board we even though we didn't eat dinner there uh, we went out uh, every night to eat dinner which in our 10 nights added about 400 euros to the cost of our hotel it was only 400 euros uh, eating for eating out for 10 nights which is not bad it would have cost a lot more than that here in the UK or in the United States uh, but did we get value for money we actually felt we did um, when we totted up the um, the eating of the breakfast and going to the buffet for lunch and the drinks that we had throughout the day um, in the evening before going out for dinner and then um, during the entertainment um, running on to half 10 uh, and the bar closing at 11 o'clock at night we do think it was good value for money booking all inclusive and we simply don't regret it. One of the challenges that you are going to face um, in choosing a hotel like the Carl Ocean View are going to be some of the other guests who have booked a uh, much cheaper holiday and therefore I'd like to talk about noise next. Okay what do I mean about noise? Um, <laughs> this, is going to be a t this is going to be a tough one to take you through. We had some significant problems with our neighbours at the Coral Ocean View and that was a large group of uh, late teens, early 20s English lads who were out to enjoy themselves. Sadly, um, that enjoying themselves included coming back to their rooms at uh, three o'clock in the morning, uh, completely drunk out of their faces, yelling, screaming, shouting at each other like I suppose lads did. We were all young once, I don't want to take away from anyone's holiday, but I do expect, uh, and I'm sure most of the other guests that ran into this particular problem, uh, do feel that these guests, while being young, should respect that other guests are sleeping at 3 a.m. in the morning and don't want to be disturbed by their yelling and their shouting at each other. Clearly it wasn't just Fiona and I that were getting frustrated with this particular group of lads and this other room with a couple of, of English um, ladies three or four doors up uh, because I come out one evening to try and reason with them uh, to find that one of the other guests had called the police and the police were, were at the door which wasn't surprising since this one particular group of lads was trying to kick 
the door in next door. Uh, it, I can laugh now. It wasn't funny at 2.31 uh, one morning during our holiday. Uh, and that's something uh, I would like to say and I would like to thank the Carlos and Bue staff for. They were very, very proactive. We had a slight issue like this in Mexico uh, three years ago and that particular um, resort, the, the Royalton Maya Riviera, uh, the staff were absolutely useless uh, at dealing with a particular problem we had with teenagers next door and in the adjoining room. Uh, but at the Coral Ocean View, Fiona and I have to admit that the staff were extremely proactive. We actually saw the staff talking to a couple of, uh, of girls one day, explaining to them that if they continued uh, with making the noise that they were, they would be asked to leave the, the resort and it seemed to have done the trick well for a night or two but certainly um, towards the end of our holiday um, the noise had gone down uh, that particular group of guys and girls were still in the hotel so hopefully the lesson had been learnt this leads me on to uh, want to talk about the fantastic staff at the Carlos and View, and I do mean they were fantastic. Every member of staff that we met throughout our holiday were extremely polite, very helpful, and couldn't do enough for us. And I think that really is the key factor that started to really make our holiday. Even though we had a few issues with our neighbours, um, the staff at the Carlos and View were very keen to make sure that the problem had been resolved and were very proactive in dealing with it. The resort was also extremely clean. And again, it was very clear that the staff at the Coral Ocean View took a great pride in their hotel being so clean. It was continuously being cleaned. The toilets down at the swimming pool, which, you know, can tend to be a bit of a challenge in a hotel were constantly being cleaned and I, I and therefore I cannot um, really emphasize enough my appreciation to every single member of the Carlos and Pugh staff for the effort they went into to making the hotel so clean. That attention to detail for cleanliness also extended to our room. The housekeeping staff did a phenomenal job keeping our room and I'm guessing every room in the Carlos and Pugh Tenerife Spick and Span every day and I'd like to thank every single one of them for a superb job. Moving on to the lobby bar staff, Manuel and his team, um, <laughs> the, the, these guys really uh, went above and beyond. Um, as I said I think earlier um, in the last video the all-inclusive drinks package stopped at 11 o'clock at night. Fiona and I were getting big into mojitos one evening and at about 5 to 11 I went in to order another two mojitos to find that the lady behind the bar had already prepared two ready for us uh, before the all-inclusive finished at 11 p.m. You know that is service uh, so thank you guys at the Carlos and View. You really did do and went a big way to make our holiday so fantastic. Thank you very much. So the big question would we recommend the Carlos and View in Playa America's Tenerife? Absolutely we would. I think the challenges we had you could get in any hotel. They're certainly not unique to the Coral Ocean View and the problems we had regarding the room and noise were handled. The room didn't really disappoint other than I'd like my money back uh, for, the, for the upgrade that we had bought uh, and the hotel staff dealing with the noise really went a long way to making our holiday so fantastic so we would absolutely recommend it. The last big question, would we book the Carlos and View again in the future? Absolutely, I think we would. Are we going to? I'm not 100% sure at this stage. 2020 or the summer 2020 is a long way away. To wrap up, I just want to say thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to continue following Fiona and I as we enjoy 10 nights in Tenerife during July 2019.